Okay, so you want to gain lean mass. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to gain lean mass fast as possible. Okay, so let's get into it. Basically, I want to make this video very, very simple, right? Because I think a lot of people over overcomplicate this shit too much. And I'm sure you know these people, or it might even be you. So let's get into it. First of all, it's about caloric intake, and so caloric input and caloric output, right? If your calories, this is your input, this is your output. <clears throat> if your input is here, yep, and your expenditure is here, you're gonna be gaining a whole lot of weight. If you wanna gain lean mass, you wanna make it smaller and smaller, right? So basically what I'm trying to tell you is the caloric surplus, which is, for example, say this is uh, calories in, calories out, this is your caloric maintenance. A caloric surplus is when your input is higher than your output, and a caloric deficit is when your output is lower than your input. So basically to gain lean mass, you wanna keep that surplus of calories um, quite small, right? You don't wanna be going, eating about, I don't know, over 500 calories. I would not advise this because you're gonna to have to cut very, very soon anyway. So keep the surplus very, very small. Uh, when I mean very, very small, not too small, but keep it relatively small. Otherwise you're just gonna be getting more and more fat because and it, like people think, man, the more calories they get in their input, the more muscle they build. No, motherfucker. <laughs> no, excuse the language. But honestly, man, if I eat a thousand calories instead of five hundred, I'm not gonna build any more muscle. All that is gonna do is turn into fat tissue. No, like, there's no point of it. So control what you eat, man. Keep that um, surplus moderate, about five hundred calories maximum. Uh, I'd say probably two fifty to five hundred. Uh, 250 you probably you still probably get some muscle but it's going to be i don't know everyone's different but it might be relatively slow so 250 to 500 but i guarantee you will stay lean so the fact is and building lean mass right i always and if this is the first video watch i always keep this shit simple trust me so first of all and trust me the basic things always 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 work the underlying principles without these you will not gain lean mass i promise you so first of all, progressive tension overload. <sighs> this is so important, I'm taking a deep breath. So progressive tension overload, in layman's terms, is basically adding more weight onto the bar over time. If you're not lifting more weight over time, you're just lifting the same weight day in, day out, you're not gonna gain any lean mass at all, believe me. That doesn't make sense. If you start in the gym, you lift 10 kg dumbbells for a year, you're not gonna gain much lean mass, I promise you. The second factor on gaining lean mass um, to do with the training side is volume. You need to get a good amount of volume. Um, as I discussed in another video, which was a uh, strength training and uh, hypertrophy training, strength training is basically going to make you stronger, increasing the myofibrils in um, in the muscle cells. But sarcoplasmic training uh, is literally like um, what is it? No, 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 no. Pause, 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 pause. So basically, strength training is going to increase the myofibrils. That's basically working in a rep range of one to five. Let's keep it simple then. And then the hypertrophy training is high reps, eight to 12. That's basically, you know, getting the blood into the muscle, getting a pump basically, right? So that's to do with volume. Volume is basically sets, reps, and workload. You need to increase that gradually over time, but not too fast. Like, for example, I haven't even increased my volume for like a year or such. It, it just doesn't need to be increased so much. But anyway, that is a, a factor as well. Because most bodybuilders, well, it's a very common mistake when wanting to gain lean mass, is they ramp up that volume so fast and then they eventually just plateau. So you don't want to be doing that. And most people that just focus on volume lift the same way day in, day out. So you want to still progress. Um, on a weight, lifting more weight over time, but also then focus on a muscle pump. One way to do this is periodization. If you're a bodybuilder, you gotta have to wanna do this. Not gonna have to want to, but I suggest this. It's basically where you go through different cycles, right? <laughs> Not steroid cycles, don't worry. Um, so for example, you train for hypertrophy, um, say for example, reps eight to 12, whatever, just getting a high reps uh, for, I don't know, say six weeks, then you go strength training for two weeks. See what I'm doing now, you're not prioritizing strength training, but still you're recycling back so you can add more weight into the bar when strength training. 
and then maybe one week um, you train for some muscular endurance like 20 reps or something and then you come back to the hypertrophy so that's what I suggest as well but it's just a suggestion man you don't you don't always have to do it but anyway so how to gain how to gain <laughs> how to gain lean mass right so far we've got progressive tension overload you need to add more weight onto the bar and the second factor is um shit what was that uh what was the second factor man you need to remind me uh, okay anyway you know you know the second factor is fine so diet diet is very very important Oh yeah, the second fact is volume. You think I forgot, you idiots. <laughs> I'm joking, man. Uh, volume. Okay, so... No, not volume. Diet. I can't speak, man. I just woke up. Relax. So, diet. Like I said before, you need to keep a relatively small caloric surplus. And how to gain, how to gain lean mass. Basically, I'm not going to... I'll give you some muscle-building foods that most people eat, but... If, like a protein is a protein whether it's found in a piece of steak or a chocolate bar protein is protein right carbs is carbs fats is fats but i would suggest um eating healthy but basically to gain lean mass you need what well, i said progressive tension overload volume a slight caloric surplus and here we go the muscle burning foods as quote unquote as they call it um oatmeal eggs uh peanut butter Oh, I'm trying to think of breakfast to dinner, what usually people would eat. Uh, chicken breast, uh, fish, no batter, turkey mince, turkey steaks, lean beef, all the lean meats, um, <coughs> uh, rice. But personally, I don't recommend rice when on a cup, but when we bulk and we can eat rice. So rice, white potatoes, sweet potatoes, and all those good carbs. And then for fats, peanut butter, olive oil, coconut oil, those kind of things. Those are basically the staples of my diet. That Well, so far, we're almost done, man. We're almost done. So we have progressive tension overload, very important. Volume, very important. Caloric surplus, very important. But if it's if it's a big caloric surplus, you're going to gain a lot of fat tissue. So just keep that in mind. I hope you're still with me. The third or fourth factor is sleep and this is so important man I, I i shouldn't even be putting this last it's so so important if you're not sleeping enough you're not recovering enough it's that simple your testosterone is not going to be high enough and you just got to mess everything up like for example have you ever just i don't know slept like five hours and you go to the gym and your body feels like so drained that's because you're not sleeping enough, man. Sleep is so, so important. You need to recover. Oh, yeah, Arnold said, Arnold, yeah, he slept six hours. Yeah, but he was injecting testosterone. To be a testosterone building machine, naturally, you need to sleep. So, anyway, I think I've covered everything. Basically, let me do a recap because I always like to do a recap, especially on these informative videos. So, progressive tension overload of volume for the training part. For the diet part, it's eating in a slight caloric surplus which is basically your input is just above your output about 250 to 500 calories next is your sleep a very very important factor oh, I don't even know what to say about this yeah, basically if you want to have a testosterone that's very high and testosterone like if you don't know is basically a, another key factor for building muscle so hence why steroid people or steroid users inject testosterone so those are the four factors to gain lean mass and remember you will not gain lean mass if you don't add weight over um on the bar and when look quote lean right you will not gain lean mass if your caloric surplus is too big so anyway i hope this video was informative i hope you found it useful and as always stay positive stay smiling and i'll see you in the next one